really that cool. That does sound like that would be really neat. Oh, I know I had no idea. So neither. thanks for sharing that with us. Well, you know, our forecast has got a little bit of cloud cover in it, but we got by really yes. well today without some rain across the area. So we'd like to keep the rain away for tomorrow as well, but we do have some wet weather coming back. We had clouds, of course, out there today from time to time, and we saw at least a little bit of sunshine, especially this afternoon, that sun really peeking through. And as we go into tomorrow, I think we'll have variably cloudy skies as well. Your Sunday forecast has temperatures that are a little bit below normal. And then for Monday and Tuesday, we are watching a coastal low that may start to move inland and bring us higher rain chances. And then for the latter half of the week, isolated rain in the forecast. So we don't have dry skies like we had last week. You can see some of the clouds overhead. At times, they've been real thick. We haven't seen much in the way of rain, and that's okay on a Saturday, right? Temperatures are in the upper 70s. We've got 77 in Mount Airy, 77 in Asheboro, and 78 in Reedsville. The breeze has kept us really cool, and it's kept it real comfortable out there at about 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the east and northeast, and that's going to continue to be the case. Looking for a second low to form right here, and that onshore flow, that cool northeast and east breeze is going to continue. Most of the rain has stayed east of I-95 today, and I do think most of it will stay east of us tomorrow. Heading into the nighttime hours, we're going to see some passing clouds, and I actually think they're going to get thick again by tomorrow morning. There's a small chance that we'll have some patchy light rain around in the morning, temperatures in the 60s, and I do think the clouds will thin out some tomorrow, but there's an opportunity for at least a few spotty showers. So we're going to bring that rain chance in at about 20%, mainly in the afternoon for the triad with temperatures in the upper 70s tomorrow. It's a breezy day in the foothills as well with an east northeast wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Small rain chance, otherwise just passing clouds and a high of 76. We've got a small rain chance in the mountains tomorrow as well. Otherwise, your Sunday is partly to mostly cloudy with a high of 70 and breezy. The winds are going to continue to pick up on Monday. We still have that northeasterly wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. If that low does move on shore, those winds will stay up for sure even into Tuesday. So right now we're seeing an area of showers and thunderstorms that not too far off our coast and it is forecast to kind of work its way gradually onto the Carolina coastline and then into the interior parts of North and South Carolina during the day on Monday and even into Tuesday. And if this forecast goes as planned, that means significant rain and maybe too much rain for folks to the east. Monday, excessive rainfall in the forecast for the eastern part of North Carolina and South Carolina as several inches of rain is possible with that. Also, National Hurricane Center watching this, it's an area of low pressure, but it could potentially become a tropical system. So we'll let you know if it changes it doesn't really change what happens for us. We still have breezy conditions and wind. Tropical Storm Gordon is still out there in the Atlantic, and that is going to be moving to the west, but that one is far away from land. Let's take a look at our seven-day forecast where we've got temperatures into next week in the 70s. We're looking for rain chances to be highest right now on Monday and Tuesday.